Have you ever wondered what hides behind this giant marvel of engineering called the Roro ship? Well, these floating garages can transport a mind-boggling number of vehicles. So join us as we uncover the secrets behind a $53,200,000 Roro ship and take a look inside the entire process of loading and unloading these vehicles. Roro ships, or roll-on, roll-off ships, are specialized vessels designed to carry wheeled cargo, such as cars, trucks, semi-trailer trucks, and railroad cars that are driven on and off the ship on their wheels or using a platform vehicle. They play a huge part in global trade by transporting these vehicles in a unique style. Unlike low-low ships that use a crane to load the cargo, over the years, Roro ships have grown into efficient and cost-effective vessels to transport cargo quickly and safely across large bodies of water. The modern Roro ship can trace its origins back more than 100 years to the early days of the steam train. The first revisions of the Roro ships started appearing in the 19th century and were designed to take trains across rivers that were too wide for bridges. On these ships, rails allowed the trains to roll straight onto the ship. An example is the 5th of 4th Ferry, which began its operations in 1851. These ships also played a huge role in the Second World War, where it was realized just how valuable the roll-on, roll-off system was for transporting amphibious vehicles. This principle was applied to merchant ships in the late 1940s, and after it proved to be extremely popular, Roro ships quickly grew into a bigger means of transportation. Fast forward to today, we have some of the most advanced Roro ships the world has ever seen. Although in the past, they have only been used for transporting trains, they have evolved throughout the years and are now the number one vessel when it comes to transporting any type of wheeled vehicle. One of the many advantages these ships offer is their speed. They have a way of quickly loading and unloading cars and lorries straight onto the ship. Due to this, the ship can be at one port and then be at another port within a few minutes of the ship docking, which saves a lot of time for the shipper. A Roro ship is much like a car park, but it has life table ramps connecting the decks on the ship, which can reach up to 13 decks per ship. Each of the vehicles on the ship is placed and categorized to the most appropriate deck depending on the weight, height, length, and safely secured with lashings. The dead weight of these ships can range anywhere from 30,000 to 50,000 tons. Their deck can withstand up to 10 tons, meaning they're perfect for carrying heavy cargo. Although most of the vehicles loaded on this ship are using their wheels to get on the ship, the ship does have built-in ramps on their bow or stern in order to make the loading and unloading process much easier than if a crane did it. The difference between Roro ships and cargo and container ships is the crane. While cargo ships use a crane to load and unload their freight, Roro ships don't use cranes, making it much easier and simpler. Cranes are typically located on the port, and some ships even have them on board. But in all Roro ships, there is a ramp on board, so that each time the vessel comes to the port, it's immediately ready to unload and load the vehicles. These vessels sometimes use a drive through system with forward and aft access, which speeds up the loading and unloading process. The capacity of these vessels can be less than one half of the low low vessels of similar size, as cargo cannot be stacked and significant space is needed for the ramps. Although there is reduced capacity, they still work at full power and are considered to be the most important vessels out there. Like other transportation vessels, there are also many varieties of Roro ships out there in the world, all doing a specific task. One of the many types of these ships is the Pure Car Truck Carriers, or the PCC and the PCTC. This variant has a box-like framework with ramps included. As the name suggests, the PCC is used to transport only cars, whereas the PCTC transports all types of vehicles. They have a ramp in the stern, two ramps on both sides, covered internal ramps, and hostable decks that are used to transfer the cars into the multi-level decks. On this ship, the vehicle drives directly into the vessel and then uses the ramp system to various decks. Another type of Roro ship is the Ropax, which stands for Roll On, Roll Off a Passenger. They are made for freight vehicle transport with passenger accommodation. They can accommodate up to 500 passengers and are often referred to as cruise ferries. They're mainly used for short sea transport and they're mostly found in the seas of Northern Europe. Next, we have a mixture of a row row and a low low ship, which is the row low ship, which stands for roll on, lift off vessel. 
These hybrid vessels use the best of both worlds, where ramps load in vehicles while the other cargo decks are accessible by a crane. They carry both vehicles and general cargo or heavy metals. The next type of Roro ship and another hybrid vessel is the Conro, a mixture between a Roro ship and a container ship. Alongside the decks, this vessel also uses the area below the decks for vehicle storage, while the containerized freight is stored on the top decks. The loading and unloading process on these vessels requires extreme care, as the weight distribution difference may affect the vessel's stability. The Roro ships are true workhorses of the sea. Their versatility in transporting diverse cargo and short port stay show their efficiency. They're one of the most successful types of transport vessels operating today. Its flexibility and ability to integrate with other transport systems and speed of operation have made it extremely popular among shipping routes. Because of this, proper securing of the cargo is the most important thing to the safety of life at sea. Due to the shape of these vessels, any instability can lead to a disaster. So even before the vessels take off, it needs to ensure that each vehicle on board is properly secured. The staff appointed to secure the cargo are fully trained in the use of the equipment and the most effective methods for securing different types of vehicles. Roro ships can be dangerous vessels to work on. For years, the safety of these ships has been questioned, and now safety and security have become the most important factors on these vessels. The main issue of the ship is its stability. The slightest shift of cargo can become a major threat to the stability of the ship. Each aspect of loading the vehicles on board has to be precise and done in a way that maintains the stability of the vessel. Although in the past, there have been cases where the Roro ship hasn't been a safe vessel. Today, many measures are taken to ensure the safety of the cargo, the passengers, and the crew, along with properly securing each vehicle and cargo on board. Manufacturers of Roro ships are constantly looking for ways to improve these vessels. Nowadays, the goods transported on these vessels have high costs and fragility and need to be taken care of. Due to the increasing size of the loaded pieces, it was necessary to further increase the capabilities of the Roro vessel and develop a new system to transport heavy cargo. Manufacturers are now using more advanced technologies to cut down emissions and energy use. These new technologies include an air lubrication system to reduce hull resistance. Some of these advanced technologies further improve the stability of the ship. In the future, Roro ships will likely improve and become an even bigger success. We have yet to see what type of innovations these vessels will have. However, the future looks bright, with many manufacturers smashing that subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, the many manufacturers worldwide are competing to create the ultimate Roro ship. While the future of Roro ships looks bright, there have already been quite an impressive collection of big and powerful vessels. So far, the title of the biggest one goes to the MV Tonsberg, owned by Wallinius Wilhelsen, based in Norway. The ship was launched in 2011 and is still sailing. It has a low hull and is double bottom, so the vessel treads smoothly in rough waters. It has six decks and a gross tonnage of 75,251 tons and can carry heavy rolling and non-containerized cargo, brake bulk, and cars. It is an extraordinary vessel equipped with inner ramps that are fixed that allows easy loading and unloading without the use of cranes. It uses fuel oil and marine diesel with low sulfur content to decrease its annual carbon footprint by minimizing carbon dioxide emissions. Another just as impressive Roro ship is the Figaro vehicle carrier, which can transport 7,880 cars or 3,550 cars and 430 buses. It was constructed in 2011 and is one of the biggest ships in the Wallinius Wilhelmsen Roro fleet. It has nine decks and a gross tonnage of 74,258 tons with a top speed of 20 knots. It features two main ramps near the starboard side to accommodate large vehicles such as trucks and buses. An automated control system operates the main engine while the rudders are designed to offer low resistance and provide high efficiency. There are many more that could make it on this list, but unless some bigger ones come in the future, these two steal the spotlight. Bye for now.